bear with me. There is some photography, I promise. I began my trip in Loch Lomond, a beautiful loch surrounded by tall mountains which wrap around you. At night, the stars were so clear, it was as if you were looking into the heart of a blue gold stone. Here, you can while camp by the loch, listen to lapping water, and kayak if you're feeling extra adventurous. We then went to Oban, a gem in the west of Scotland. It has white sandy beaches and crystal blue waters, with a horizon broken by a line of mountains. From there, we entered the highlands, where the giants live. Mountains that soar tall into the sky, they tower over like an old elder, silently watching your travel. Each character has its own unique shape and presence. When the stars glow bright, the summer's old. In the misty bright moonlight, I were told. When the storm is raging in your head, when you feel there's nothing. My favourite place in Glencoe was Locative. Waking up to the view of the loch is one memory I will never forget. At sunset, the face of the giants burned crimson red as we huddled together around a burning fire. The water stretched out before us, mirroring the sky. And from here, we hit the Cairngorms, an ancient pinewood forest surrounded by snow-capped peaks that expand into the horizon. You'll see all sorts of wildlife here, hidden in the depths of the endless woodland. And finally, we ended our journey in Edinburgh. But it was the end of the trip where my experience began. The end of one thing turning into the beginning of another my trip had truly begun. A solo adventure awaited in the Isle of Arran, a small beautiful island off the west coast of Scotland, which I had never been to before. I had no expectations, I did no research. But somehow, through the randomness of chance encounter, I found myself travelling there on a boat, sailing across the ocean, to an island I was yet to discover. Welcome to my Scottish road trip. Now this vlog is a little bit ad hoc. I've had a bit of time, as you have seen at the start of the video, spending some time with friends, just enjoying the road trip without any photography, without any, um, a bit of videography, but more to capture memories. And I'm finally filming now. I'm here at the beautiful Isle of Arran. And this place in Scotland is just magnificent the it has the feel of sort of island sky as you can see these peaks behind me but it's really stunning and i want to take this opportunity just to have a chat in the film and say hello to all the followers everyone that supported me so far i know i've been a bit sporadic i think it's just the style of my photography as much as i try and change it um, i've grown to accept it um, and i hope you guys don't mind either you know i want the content that i do 
produce to be something worthwhile, something enjoyable, um, rather than pumping them out every other week. So I'm here in Scotland. I've um, been doing a road trip with friends for the last week and now I've got some solo time. Perfect opportunity to film. I have this little camera, if you can see it on my back there. Um, I'm packing light. I don't have a tripod, don't have any filters. It's just me, my camera and this stunning landscape that you can see behind me. So I'm walking up, um, God, one of the tallest peaks in Iran. I've got a trail that I'll link um, below. Um, it's one that's been recommended to me. So I'm gonna hike up, see what photos I can get ad hoc. You'll have seen a couple of photos at the start of the trail. Um, and yeah, I'm here, I'm filming and it feels good. Uh, it's great to get on the road and have a bit of time to explore Scotland. Scotland is one of the places in the world that take your breath away and to have the time really to immerse yourself in it, explore, um, is just really, really special. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna just see what I can create. There's a lot of mist on top of the peak here. There's a bit of a scramble too, but we'll see what we can do. Um, should be a good laugh. Let's go. I want to show you my adventure in the hope to inspire you. Travel and adventure is a mindset. It doesn't have to be a big trip to an extravagant place. All you need is magic beans. And no, this is not a fairy tale. But with the right magical mindset, any experience can be an adventure. Whether it's a trip to your local park or a day out at the beach. Listen to what you hear soak in what you see. It could be the smell of the salt water as it crashes against the sand, or the sound of the wind rushing through the trees. Being present starts with taking in the small things. The small things which shape your world and define your experience. It's how you perceive your surroundings that creates your adventure.
welcome to the next vlog. So I am still on the Isle of Arran. Uh, this beautiful landscape is keeping me here a little longer. Now during this trek I'm heading over to a place called um, King's Cave and there's a lot of history with this location because this is said to be one of the places where the king hid. So I am taking my full backpack, I've got camping kit, one camera and the world's my oyster today. Let's see what we can capture. I'm making some food. I thought I'd share my camping experience with you guys because maybe some of you enjoy a little bit of wild camping too. Uh, the ultimate dream is to get a van, but there are some perks to wild camping. It's free. You go to some beautiful locations, such as this place, where the sea view. I mean, it's a five-star hotel, really. <laughs> what would you pay for sea views like this, huh? Um, so I'm just boiling some water, so excuse me for being a bit antisocial, I'm not looking at the camera, but I don't want it to boil over. Uh, Food-wise, I want to talk to you guys what kind of stuff I bring on a wild hike. Um, this is really good, full of nutrients, um, everything you need, it's lightweight, packable. And you just stick that into one of these uh, little stoves that I've got heat up here. Uh, this one I got from Go Outdoors and it's really easy to use, really simple, and it boils really quickly. Um, it's not so good in the wind. If you've got good wind shelter, then you're boiling water really quickly. But if you've got wind, it can be a bit of a pain. So um, a jet boil is also a good alternative, but this one's pretty lightweight. Um, I've got my backpack, a one-man Van Gogh tent, all lightweight um, gear, so it's you know not too heavy walking in. This walk that I've done today is um, 45 minutes, um, maybe even less because I've stopped and not completed the whole walk. i uh, got steam coming out. <laughs> My water's almost boiled. Um, and there's a cave um, that I showed you guys earlier, which is just incredible. Um, no photography, but it's a really good travel experience. Now, I'm going to have some food. Round about by the time food's finished, I'm going to go and explore. Um, just turn this off quickly because I don't want it to boil over. Just turn that down, my little dinner. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go and explore um, blue hour and potentially some sunset, but looking at the sky, I think we're hitting blue hour. Um, so I'm going to have some food and then go and explore. <laughs> like a pod of dolphins or something just came through and it was absolutely breathtaking <laughs> I can't believe this how lucky am I to have witnessed that so I went out with my camera to go and take some photos um, had everything ready and I realized it was raining and I could hear this noise of like splashing and I thought is the tide coming in or it just sort of start with me to go and have a look and as I've come out of the entrance of the cave I've seen a pod of um, I don't know what they are, sea mammals that were just floating and jumping in and out the, the water and it was so incredible, so incredible I caught some of it on film wow, nature is amazing 
get yourself <laughs> get yourself camping in a cave well i just glad i was able to share that with you um so there's no photography but there is a pod of beautiful dolphins or something i don't know what they are um they were quite small maybe you guys can help me um incredible right i'm signing out signing out for tonight i'm gonna go to bed it's an early one maybe some photography tomorrow oh, i'm not sure um if there's not i'll sign out with a, a proper sort of closure but see what tomorrow awaits Welcome to the White Lagan Bothy. Really, you found her? That's amazing. So it's the next day and I'm leaving the wee bothy behind me. So last night was my first bothy experience and it was just really amazing. Um, very cosy. I arrived on my own, did a bit of housekeeping <laughs> and yeah, just these facilities that are available um, really are useful for hikers, people traveling. Um, they just had everything there. They had a little free pile of food, um, managed to get a fire going. Yeah, just, yeah, unworldly, really cool. I thought sure I said that so many times, which is how beautiful this place is, but I'll say it again. And uh, yeah, I had a guest come and join quite late in the evening. I was a bit nervous because I saw someone coming up the trail. I thought, oh no, there's another person and it's just me and there's no one, there's no, there is no civilization around, um, none at all. <clears throat> so yeah, just building my confidence with traveling alone. And I know it's always good to be careful, but in general, most people are friendly. They're also travelers, they're also nervous. And uh, this is a good training experience for whenever I want to do long slogs, such as going to New Zealand or um, doing the Southwest Coast Path, or um, there's a few up in Scotland I'd like to do. So yeah, this is, this is a really good milestone for me. And now I'm just hiking back to my car. This is going to be the end of this video. This random compiler <laughs> of video and some photography. But it's been great documenting everything, this whole experience. And I'm going to see what photos are left for today. You've got this cool mist behind me, which is rolling through all the Scots pine. And I'm hoping maybe along the way there could be something that catches my eye. So let's get down this track over to the bridge, keep walking back to the car, see if we're lucky. view 
has just taken my attention. So you have almost like a little valley with the water in the foreground, mist rolling through the highland here. This is a very quick snap. So settings wise, I'm on 1 25th of a second, ISO 200, F10, F9, and it seems to just be perfect. Ooh, there's... <laughs> So if you can hear him, but there's a bee. Do you know, it's probably the one that I saved <laughs> earlier that's come back for me. Um, so where was I before I got ambushed? Uh, it's something to do with the yellow jacket and gore, so I did not plan this very well. So, uh, those are the settings I'm on. Uh, 125th is because it's good handheld. My camera is here, so I can just get to it easily, take a photo, and um, not have to worry about faffing around too much. Uh, I said this in my last video, and I'll say it again, I think the creative mind is the delicate one, and if something is easy and sort of more accessible, you're more likely to do it. So having this camera, I know it's not the biggest, best camera, it's quite an easy sort of on the go, but it just means that I can snap and capture things as I'm going on this difficult slog, um, walking through the highlands, travelling, backpacking. Um, it just means that I don't have, if I take a photo, it doesn't take half an hour, it takes a couple of seconds, um, snap and go. Um, I'm really feeling snap and go at the moment and it's enabling me to do more. So that's the first photo from here. Let's keep walking through and see what else emerges from the mist. <laughs> enjoyed this vlog or if you really certainly enjoyed filming and I'll see you in the next video uh, whenever that is um, I'm gonna put images on the screen throughout the video and um, just so you guys can see what I've been snapping it will be ad hoc and yeah over and out see you in the next take care <laughs>